Um, hello, my name's Bella and I'm going to show you how to make a flower hexagon. Um, and this is what it's going to eventually look like. To start with, you'll need a hexagon. You can print them off the internet if you search for printable hexagons and or you can go to a, a, a sewing shop and get them and I'll show you the rest now. The first step is to get your template that you have bought or printed and what you do is you put it down on your piece of cardboard but the cardboard can't be too hard or up because you have to be able to get your needle through it um, and you just draw around it like this and then you cut it out and just like this and you have to cut out lots more of these because you need one of these for each bit of, bit of the flower, the hexagons. Step is to cut out your fabric hexagon and what you do is you get your hexagon that you've cut out of the cardboard and you put it down on a square of fabric and you cut around it but make sure you leave a nice um, gap between it. Just like this. Next step is to get them both and you have to pin them together but make sure it's even on all sides. Just like that. You thread up a needle and cotton um, so that you can start tacking your um, your hexagon and uh, yeah and what you need to do next is you need to get your hexagon and you've got to fold one of the edges over and you put your needle through like that and you just do a couple of stitches on each side. The first stitch that you do is always the hardest and you just do like that and once you've got to the edge of one, you fold it over like that and then you go into it. What this does is it holds it down so that you can get it on the... So then you can join them all back together. And sometimes it's a bit hard to get through the... The, the cardboard and, but all you need to do is give it a little wiggle but not or press it on something hard but not my mum's laminated tablecloth um, and you keep on doing this right around and you have to remember to fold the corners over when you get to one <laughs> and and you just keep on going across around up over the the hexagon. You finished and ended off. It should look like this. And but don't worry about the cardboard because we'll take it out later once we've finished. And then you have to make another one. 
it can be the same color or a different color it doesn't really matter and then I, now I'm going to show you how to join them together and to join them together um, you use whip stitch well and you hold them right sides together and then you go but you try and you have to when you're doing the stitch you have to go just through the material or else it um or else when you pull the cardboard out later it won't you won't be able to get it out if you don't know how to do whip stitch all you do is you start from one side and you go through to the other and then you go back around to the other side just like this and you just keep on doing that until you get to the end yeah actually only stitching down one side of the hexagon for now. If you've sewn two together, this is what it looks like. And if you want to sew another one on here, um, what you do is you do the same. You put them back like that and you start sewing. And then to get this side on that side, you have to pull that up a bit but this side stitched and you have to stitch it that way and then once it's finished once you've sewn it all you flip it over and it'll look like that with my flower one um i'm going to make it bigger and make a black doll quilt so um, I'm not going to actually show you how to take the cardboard out of this one but with this one I'm going to show you how to take the cardboard out because and because this one I kind of did just to show you and so what you do is you get the scissors and you snip one of the threads and then you pull the thread out just like this and keep pulling your card your wool your thread out and then you pull your cardboard out and sometimes it's a bit hard to pull the thread out um, and then you should really get your mum to iron it before you um, you uh, take the thread out because you want the to keep the design because if it just flops out like that you won't be able to have the design anymore it really is supposed to still be in a hexagon okay um this is what it looks like when it's been ironed and all the cardboard and stuff is out and if you keep on going and make a flower you can sew it on and take the cardboard out you can sew it onto um, a pillow or bag or you can make a massive badge or lots of stuff and that's how you make a hexagon.